Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. Welcome to this week's choice. Are this these w- your glasses? Yeah. How many of you have these? You buy them like at the big box stores for like five dollars. <laughs> and they work. This week on the choice, we're gonna go to Ontario Fall Bear hunting. <laughs> now you guys see why. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go fall bear hunting. This week's lucky logo is a Maristep. Yes. And and we're gonna do something different. Yeah. You know, normally because it's so cold. Well, Vicky said it's so cold outside. Um, extremely, extremely cold outside. We're gonna go with the cameras and we're gonna follow Freddie, Travis, Joe, Jenna, Mom. I don't know if you're gonna get Mom on. We camera. gotta try. Okay. Well, we can try, but yeah. I won't she'll, promise you. She'll freak out. Yeah. She's gonna kill us. But we're gonna share. We're gonna open the show and we're gonna do all that stuff and show everybody a little piece of what goes on here at Archer's Choice Media. Okay, so sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go bear hunting in Ontario. There you go. Tell us some of the problems they're having with the DUI getting into the provinces. DUIs are a major concern um, for getting across the border. particularly if you're going from the U.S. into Canada. Okay, this, this DUI shows up on your uh, driver's license and uh, you, um, the minute you show your, your identification, it picks it up right away that you got a DUI. It can go back as far as 15, even 20 years. Particularly if it's between one and five years, you're gonna have some trouble getting across the border. So I think the best thing to do is if you've got a DUI, uh, go to our website, northofsecure.org. Uh, we've, got, we've got members uh, that, uh, that specialize in drawing up these pardon, these pardon certificates. It takes five to six weeks, so give yourself lots of time. Get the pardon certificate drawn up, and then you've got a pardon certificate that you can bring and show the customs when you come across the border. What were some of the reasons that they stopped the bear? spring bear hunt here in Ontario. At that particular time, five, six years ago, they felt that their uh, population was declining and they needed to uh, to balance things out a bit. That's my reading of the, The what I know. doing well now. (laughs) 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 The population is rampant (laughs) uh, to the point where, uh, you know, there are more and more bear sightings. Um, We've had, uh, they're getting pretty brazen. You know, they're coming into into the city of Thunder Bay. And when you see bears on the outskirts of the city of Thunder <laughs> Bay with 114,000 people, uh, you know that they're they're getting brazen. They're, they, they don't have any fear of, of man. Yeah. Is there any chance of them ever bringing the season back? Spring season? I, I, there's a lot of lobbying going on to bring to bring the, uh, the spring bear hunt uh, back. Um, it's not in our control as, a, as an association. Uh, it's in the control of the Ministry of Natural Resources in Ontario. I think if they are going to reinstate it, it likely would be two, three years down the road. And it would take a lot more lobbying yeah. on behalf of the uh, various hunting organizations to, uh, and a lot, a lot more potentially uh, dangerous attacks as well. There was you an know. attack on it. Even up there, wasn't there? there was, yeah. There was. Uh, there, there's been more than one. There's been more than one, and there's been uh, there's been a death. Now let's get with Lieutenant Dan as he goes over some blaze orange requirements for the province of Ontario and some very important passport information. In Ontario, you have to wear hunter's orange to the stand and also when exiting the stand, but not while you're on the stand. So you want to make sure that you take your hunter's orange so you don't get caught up there and get in a bad situation. One last thing, you want to remember your passport. These passports are good for 10 years and in 07, in order to cross out of the country, you got to have a passport in order to come back to the United States. Welcome back to The Choice. Now let's join Posse member Peter Bofill as he goes up to Dog Lake Resort and has some close encounters of the barren down kind.
Peter, is it me? Or does that orange jumpsuit have Department of Corrections on it? Today's a lot better than yesterday. Everything's very quiet and calm. Yesterday when we came in here, we made a lot of noise trying to set everything up. So it kind of spooked everything, but today you can notice the difference. Everything is very peaceful and very nice. Now everything's starting to settle as the sun's coming down. I think we're gonna have good luck tonight, so let's hope and see what happens. One good thing about hunting over a bait site is you have that chance of looking at that animal, identifying it as Zindel does with this sound cubs. Here in Ontario at Dog Lake. Haven't had any luck and now everything's coming in at nine o'clock or after. We're just gonna sit tight and see if we can see anything tonight. Hey Zendel, I think you have more hair on your entire head and face than that cub does on its body. Sow and three cubs just came through. The sow didn't want any part of the bait. That may be a good sign, but the one cub sticking around. Now let's head up to Holland's Head Lake, Ontario with posse member Jerry Niffenegger as he takes his chances on an Ontario black bear. We just got here to Holland's Head Lake Resort, got settled into our cabin. Awesome cabin, it's beautiful up here. George, the guide, is gonna pick us up we're gonna get out first evening in the stand. Hopefully we have some luck. It's beautiful up here, Danny. It's great. It's off. We've got a permanent stand. Dan's gonna film for me from there. We took, we took about five minutes and hung the, the portable stand. The bait's been hit. The guy, George, gave us some bait. We replenished it. Hopefully it'll get hit again tonight and we'll have a, a great hunt. Let's go and stand. Bear coming. Bear. Bear.
Jerry, I bet you wish this was golf and you had a mulligan because you choked. Welcome back to The Choice, and let's see if Jerry can pull this thing off after what just happened. Hopefully this is my first bear. Holland's Head Lake Resort, Northwest Ontario. Our first night in the stand. The bear was tore up. The bait was tore up when we got here. Made a shot on him. He's going down right over there. Wow. Oh, wow. And congratulations, Jerry, on your awesome Ontario black bear. First night here, first night in a stand, Holland's Head Lake Resort, Northwest Ontario. I can't believe it. We flew into Thunder Bay last night, got a ride up here today. Unbelievable. First night, I got to be the luckiest guy in the world. Look at him. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Welcome back to The Choice. Let's get with Dan Wallace as he tries to take his Ontario black bear with a 10 point crossbow. Double check my case. Yep, got my arrows, my set lock gloves, my mask. Ready to rock and roll. This is our, my first day out in the woods. George, the guy's gonna pick us up, so we'll go ahead and head outside with it. It's the bottom of the night. It's time to get after him.
I think if you listen real close, you heard Dan mess his shorts. Oh my gosh, did you see it when he come out? He was at the base of the tree stand. He was, oh my gosh. Oh. A beautiful Ontario black bear. We came up here this year, August uh, 15th. Got the opportunity to hunt with Holland's Head Outfitters and they put us on the bears. This is our second bear this week. Guys, you gotta get up here to Ontario for the fall bear seasons. The bears coats are nice and full. They're fat. You saw how fat this bear was on the screen. Man, it's just an incredible time up here. What are you doing? Nothing. What just, are you doing? I was just doodling. Okay, well, hey, we hope you guys enjoyed this week's The Choice. We want to thank Ontario Tourism. For sure, and congratulations to Dan and Jerry. Yes. You know, and, and the other guys tried. I mean, that's why we called hunting. That's right. I mean, they had a good time. It was the fall. They saw... At least they, well, they saw a lot of cubs, the little guys. Did, yeah, they but, saw, you know, and, and that's a good thing. It that's is a good telling thing. you that, you, you know, your population of the bears are doing really well. Yeah, you know, it's really hard to talk to you when you're sitting down. <laughs> can you stand up? I'm serious. Can you stand up? I don't know if that'll help. I mean, you're, you, I know, I don't know if it will help or not, but see, that's just better. Thank you. I appreciate that. So we also want to hope that you guys checked and looked for the Ameristep logo. What you and need to do is. where do you is, go to? You need to go to huntingnet.com slash the choice. And put in the information, let us know, and maybe someone will get something special in the mail. You never know. You just never know. So what were you doing on this thing? Nothing. Hmm? So we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Why don't you walk what, outside? Nothing. What's on there? Nothing. Okay.